Hey guys, Technomentary with a video for you guys to show you guys how to use Skype for free video conferencing and calling and also to host virtual meetings and how to join them and also to create your own meeting. So in this video, we're going to talk to you guys to how to create like a Skype account and then also signing in and how, what all the features that Skype has similar to Zoom and WebEx, Skype is also there for your video conferencing option if you guys aren't familiar with it. And if you guys are looking for videos around Zoom and WebEx, also check out our channel for those videos. So we're gonna take you guys to what, uh, Skype today. So if you open up Skype here, um, if you need to download Skype on your iPhone or your um, Android phone, simply go to uh, Apple Store or the Google Play Store and just type in Skype in. This should be one of the first things that pop up. So once you're on it, um, open it up after you download it and then you'll notice this screen right off the bat. So simply if you are actually joining a meeting on Skype, the, per the host should have sent you a link. You could just click on that link after you download the app and it'll open up the meeting whenever it's time for you to meet. But if you're hosting a meeting, you need to create an account. Um, so let's go ahead and show you guys how to how you would do that. To create an account, simply click on this button here, and then it will tell you to, um, you know, either sign in or create one. So if you create one, it will ask you your phone number, email, and then they'll send you a, a link to confirm and then to set your password, and then you can get back in and you know sign in here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in to mine. So give me. A, second or two, once I sign in, I'll show you guys what it looks like when you create an account inside and some of the options for video and audio as well. It's pretty straightforward to use. Skype, you know, isn't as popular as Zoom or WebEx, but it still can get the job done if you guys are looking for another option for video conferencing or so. So I'm here just going through and to show you guys how simple it is, I'm just going to, you know, leash, sign in here. Um, so once you're signed in, you'll be at this screen right here, as you can see right now. Um, it might be a little glary, but this is the screen whenever you're signed in. And then once you're in here, what you want to do is simply, you know, check out these three bottom options. This is if you're looking to chat with someone that has Skype, you can chat with them. Call option is here and then the contact, your contact list as well. So we're gonna go into this, this um, option. So if you wanna sync up your contact, you can always do that to see who has Skype or if you wanna invite people there, you can do that. So that's something, you know, personal preference. So we're gonna go to call. So this is the option where you have all of the information around calling. So simply to call you, to start actually a, actually your own video conference meeting, simply you're gonna hit this button for that video. And then once you do that, it, you'll, this thing will pop up where it says, you can either share, you know, invite with anyone, um, even if they don't have Skype, or you can join a call, but you don't even need a Skype account, all you need is the link. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. And once you hit continue, you'll see right now, um, it turned my front-facing camera on, but we can switch the to back camera by hitting that button. And also, you will notice there's a couple options on this screen. First thing is to start a call or, you know, share invite. So what you want to do is share invite. So once you share invite, you can send them through a message, email, or copy the link that they give you and forward it to someone. Also, you'll notice these two buttons up here where it's for the camera option by default. We saw these being on. You can turn it on and off by toggling these buttons. So these are on right now, and then you can toggle it to mute it or you know take a, your camera offline. So that's what those button there is for. And then once you do that, you can hit the start the call, and you'll see now we're in a meeting right now. Um, the red b button here would end the call. The video looking icon would you know start the video, and then this is for uh, you know your speaker on and off. So here, as you can see, I'm the only one right now because I haven't invited, but if I share the invite again, I could do that as well. So that's how you start a call. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it right now. And once I end it, it's gonna just end that. Or if I wanted to um, you know, let anyone join, I can copy and send this or add people to this by you know people in my contact or so. So that's how you get started with uh, calling and doing all of that. 
So that's those are the main features that you want to look for account. If you want to look at your account setting, of course, you see that pop up where it says profile and setting. You can click on that um, notifications here, and that's pretty much it. And then you can sync your contact here. So I have some demo contact here, but um, that's pretty much the gist of Skype, similar to the other web Xing conference uh, conferencing app that there is out there. Hopefully, this video was helpful. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and thanks for watching.